Hi, Hannah here on Houseflies onboarding team. I'm going to take some time today to show you how to create custom templates and then trigger them out to go out to your guests. This is automating your messaging so you don't have to worry about remembering to send in those check-in instructions. So first I'm here on my Hostfully dashboard and I'm going to go down to my drop-down menu and select templates and triggers. This first landing page is our system templates, and these are only for your direct booking guests, and they're mainly transactional. So you can turn these on or off if you'd like them to go out or not, but whenever this event happens, if this switch is turned on, this message will go out. They're pre-built by Hostfully, and again, they're mainly transactional. So you would wanna know if a booking got declined, the guest would then automatically receive these types of messages that Hostfully has built out Again, just for your direct booking through Hostfully. But today we're gonna to spend the majority of our time talking about custom templates. So this is when you wanna create a custom template to automate later on to go out to your guest. So I'm gonna go and select create custom template. And now it's all up to me to build it out. So for today, we're gonna to build out a booking confirmed template. This is gonna be a message that I want to go out to my guests as soon as a booking has been confirmed. The name up there that I just typed in is what I see on my message log. And then the subject line is gonna be what the guests see in their subject line of the email. And then you'll see we have these options to insert variables. If you've not worked with variables before, it's super easy and convenient and it's the best way to send only one message out for all of your properties. So you can customize them to feel property specific, but you really only need to make one booking confirmed email and that booking confirmed email can work for all of your properties. So I can insert the variable by selecting this blue button and scrolling down to select whichever field I would like to pull from throughout the platform. So in this case, I want my subject line to say, thank you for booking at and I wanted to say the property name that the guest is booking at. So I'll scroll down and I can find property name. And then when I select that, the variable pulls right here. So I can put this up here in my subject line. And now when the guest gets this email, it'll say, thank you for booking at, and the system will know the name of the property that that um, guest is booking. And it'll pull that information right from their booking. So it'll say, thank you for booking at, cabin A, it'll just know exactly which cabin or house the guest is booking from. And now we can make the meat of the message. So custom template, um, building these out is the what you wanna say. And then later on, we'll trigger it. So first let's come up with the message we wanna send out. We can say, hello, and then insert variable to say guest name. So again, our system will know right away that guest first name. Amanda booked with us. It'll say, hello, Amanda. Thank you for booking. At, and then we can put in property name again. And you'll just want to go in here and just plug away using as many variables as you can. You can even say your stay is booked from, and you can insert their check-in day and check-in time. So we can pull the variable right here, check-in date, and then I can just type in to insert variable checkout date. So it'll say, hello, Amanda, thank you for booking your next day at, it'll pull your property name. Your stay is booked from their check-in date to their checkout date. And you can customize this however you want. For time today, I'm just going to copy and paste one that I pre-made in here. And you can just fully see the amount of variables you can use to customize your messaging. So once you go through here and make it look exactly how you want it to be for the guest, we can hit save template. Now, the best way to test those templates once you've done them, if you want to go back and see how is that gonna look before it goes to the guest, before we send it out, 
you can go actually up into your inbox with Hostfully. And as long as you have a booking or a test reservation, there's options in there to test your templates. So I'm going into my inbox. I'm just going to pick a testing account here that I made for today. And when you pull up a name, you can then select this little black box here next to the attachment symbol. And it's going to automatically pull up all of the templates that you've created. So I have quite a few in here, um, but I just want to look at the one we just created and that was booking confirmed. And now it's going to show me the template that I created for this guest. So it automatically pulls that guest's name. It picks the name of the house that that guest was booking and it knows the check-in dates, the check-out dates, and it includes all of that information using those variables that I created. So now all of this is ready to go and be guest facing. So we always recommend going in to your templates and triggers and building out all of the custom templates that you want for your guest communication first. So go in here, you can create your check-in information, your check-out information, a follow-up email to an ask for a review, anything that you kind of want to get sent to the guest and you would like to automate it. The next step, now that we've created the what, is to create the trigger. The trigger is the who, when, and where. So who do you want this to go to? When do you want it to go out? And where do you want it to go? So we get to automate that booking confirmed email by going over here and we're gonna add a trigger. But because I use Airbnb, Verbo, and direct booking and some other channels, for every custom template that I build, I'll need to create two triggers. This is because Airbnb does not share guest email with the host. So we first need to create a trigger that's going to send it out as an Airbnb message. So it'll go right to the guest in their Airbnb inbox. The second trigger that we're gonna create will go to everybody else because all of the other channels will provide us with a guest email and we can trigger it out to go as an email. So. We made that one template. So now we're gonna come in here and make two triggers. First, I'm gonna select add a trigger. And now I'm gonna name the trigger. So for this one, I'm gonna name it booking confirmed. And I'm gonna make my Airbnb trigger first. So I'm just gonna label this Airbnb. So I know this is what I see, that this is the custom trigger that I'm building out for the Airbnb guest. When this event happens, so I want this to go out when a booking is confirmed. Then I would like to make sure I send it as an Airbnb message. And as soon as I select send Airbnb message, the system's gonna automatically block out the ability for this to go to any other channel. Because if it's going out as an Airbnb message, it can only go to Airbnb. You can add a multitude of other conditions, such as waiting till the booking is paid in full, waiting till um, the pre-arrival form is submitted. You can send it out only to specific properties. But if you don't select any specific properties, our system will automatically assume that all properties are selected by default. For this template, I really want it to go out as soon as a booking is confirmed. So I'm not gonna add any additional conditions. Then we're gonna send it as an Airbnb message using my booking confirmed template. And now I'm going to hit save. So now anytime I have an Airbnb guest book for that book with my platform, it will automatically send out a booking confirmed email to their Airbnb messenger. But I also want that email to go out if it's getting, if I have a booking that's coming from Verbo or direct booking or any of the other channels you may be connected to. So I'm gonna add my second trigger and I'm gonna name it booking confirmed and I'm gonna name it email. So when this event happens, so when a booking is confirmed, then send an email to my guest using this booking confirmed template. Again, I can always go in and add any additional um, fields. So in this instance, I would like to go in and say channel is and I'm gonna select all the channels I'm connected to, but deselect Airbnb. That way my message log won't show any errors because it's gonna to try to email this out to an Airbnb guest and we don't have emails for Airbnb. So now when anyone who's booking with any of the channels I'm connected to, 
books with my proper any one of my properties, then they will receive my booking confirmed email. So now that I've created two triggers for that template, it will automatically go out anytime there's a booking confirmed across all platforms. So that's how easy it is to create custom templates and triggers. I did want to show you one other trigger, and that's a complex trigger. So I'm going to use one of my pre-existing templates that I've already built out. Um, I'll use my check-in instruction ones. So here's my check-in instructions that I've built for my guest. It's just some simple wording on some check-in instructions and how to get to the property and my door code. Um, and I want this to go to my guest one day before their stay starts. So now I'm going to go to my triggers. I'm going to add a trigger. So again, I want this to go out to all platforms, including Airbnb. So I'm first going to build out a trigger for Airbnb one day before stay, and then I'll put Airbnb. When this event happens. So I don't want this to go out based off of any event. I want it to go out based off a time frame. So for anything based off a of time, you would go to a complex condition. Then send an Airbnb message. So it's automatically going to take out the ability to go to any other channel. And now I'm going to add another condition. Because I selected complex condition, these other options are now available that are time-based. So after stay star ends, after stay starts, before stay ends, and before stay starts. So for this one, I want it to go out before the stay starts, one day, send an Airbnb message using my check-in instructions template that I already created. So the way this message is set up now is equal to one day before a stay starts, my guest, if they book with Airbnb, will get their check-in instructions sent to them one day before their check-in day. Now, if you allow last minute booking, so someone to book, let's say within 24 hours of their reservation, this would not get sent out. This is only going to trigger if it's one day before the stay starts. But what if they book sometime 12 hours before the stay starts? You would still definitely want them to get your check-in instructions. So for that, I'm gonna change this field to less than or equal to. So now, less than or equal to one day before my stay starts, if they book with Airbnb, they'll receive the check-in instructions. So I'll hit save. And now, since I want it to go to all of my other channels, I'm going to build out that exact same trigger, but I'm going to send it out to as an email. So we'll do one day before stay starts, and I'm going to name it email. When this event happens, it's not based off an event. It's based off a time. So we're selecting complex condition. When I'm going to change the channel is, I'm going to say all and then deselect Airbnb, so that way we don't get any errors. I'm going to select before stay starts, less than or equal to one day. Then I would like to send an email to my guests using my check-in instructions template. So because I created those templates and those two triggers for each of those templates, I now am going to have all of those emails get automatically sent out based off the triggers that I set. Hopefully this helped walk you through building out templates and triggers. We have some amazing help articles on this as well. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your onboarding manager or support at hostfully.com. Thanks.